Okay, what we've built so far on day three with the splash screen uh, is a simple application that starts using a red splash screen image um, by default in the application as our traditional splash screen image. Uh, and then we have uh, modified our app.xaml.cs file to redirect the user to a page we call splash.xaml and that page contains uh, a nearly identical image but has a purple background and that purple background in the image is for us as developers to recognize that we've made the change, that something has actually happened. Uh, but what we'll want to do in our real application, of course, is use the same image so that the user doesn't detect the change. Uh, what this gives us is an opportunity to extend the life of our splash screen delay, load some additional data, pull some XML in, talk to a web service, whatever it may be, uh, and ultimately give yourself a good opportunity to take a second or two longer to load your application. Um, without having to worry about the user seeing something empty or broken or waiting to be filled in. So as you can see here, I'm gonna start my day three splash screen application. We start with the red image and then it flips over almost immediately to the purple one. And at this point, my page can then do a lot of other things. So this is initial how we're going to do this. There's, there's plenty more, so please keep on reading.